The war fought between July 28, 1914 and November 11, 1918 was known at the time as the Great War, the war to end all wars, and in the United States, the European War. Its casualty totals were unprecedented, soaring into the millions. World War I is known for the extensive system of trenches, which men of both sides fought. New technologies were unleashed, and for the first time, a major war was fought not only on land and on sea, but below the sea and in the skies as well. The two sides were known as the Allies or Entente, consisting primarily of France, Great Britain, Italy, Russia, and later the United States, and the Central Powers, primarily composed of Austria-Hungary, Germany, and the Ottoman Empire. A number of smaller nations aligned themselves with one side or the other. In the Pacific, Japan, seeing a chance to seize German colonies, threw in with the Allies. The Allies were the victors, as the entry of the United States into the war in 1917 added an additional weight of men and material the Central Powers could not hope to match. But how did it all start? Basically, nationalists who didn't like being a part of Austria-Hungary shot the Austria-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand while he was in Sarajevo. Swiftly, the Austria-Hungarian army declared war on Serbia. Russia came in to aid Serbia, so Germany decided to declare war on Russia. Knowing that France will go to war with Germany, Germany decided to attack France quickly and invade neutral Belgium and Luxembourg. Because of this, Great Britain stepped in to stop the Germans from getting closer. Two sides formed from this, the Allies and the Central Powers. New industrialized armies with engines, machine guns, airplanes, and new chemical gas weapons fought against each other which marked the beginning of modern warfare. Nationalism was high and men were proud to go off and fight for their country. On the Eastern Front, the Russians invaded Austria-Hungary but were stopped in Eastern Prussia by the Germans. Germany marched on Paris but was stopped by the French and both sides dug themselves into trenches and what became known as the Western Front. Trench warfare arose where each army would dig a long network of trenches in the ground, fortifying the front with barbed wire and sandbags. It was a long stalemate where neither side dared to advance on the other. At the right time, the army would climb over the top and charge through no man's land to the enemy trench. If they captured it, then they gained more land and were closer to reaching their goal, but this wasn't easy. One positive event was on the first Christmas when the two sides came out of their trenches and were peaceful. They talked, laughed, and played sports, but once Christmas was over, they separated and became enemies again. The conditions in the trenches were terrible. Soldiers in Belgium and France had rotting feet because of the constant dampness. Also, Australia, New Zealand, and Ottoman soldiers fighting in Gallipoli had blistering hot trenches where rain and cold were replaced with dehydration and overheating. Overall, diseases were everywhere in the trenches. Created using Powtoon.